Well, speaking of self-education, uh, a lot of artists, especially in the 90s and 2000s, they found themselves in a position of where the contracts weren't really favorable towards them in the long run. Yeah. Uh, some some ended up finding out, you know, ways. Um, you know, how 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 was that um, from your point of view? I mean, you know, it was you know it's a challenging time. You know, everybody was kind of like, uh, you know, signing those same kind of deals. You know, what I'm saying those, that three sixty deal era was the monster. You know, what I'm saying for a lot of artists, you know, dealing with uh, having to be in these deals and these contracts and these agreements. Um. It's a rough time, you know. What I'm saying, um, I think from the mistakes that were made during those eras and those times, uh, um, it was all of the education that you know these kids nowadays need, you know, what I mean, and, and and can pull from to be able to, you know, give them the, the correct example of knowing and understanding how to do the the, uh, the business, you know. What I mean, um, that's the most important thing right now is just like um, having the education, knowing knowing the business, you know, knowing the insides of it, and and, and knowing how to navigate. Right now, um, you're out there, you know, you're you're down in Florida, you're taking care of business. I, I, what were some of the highlights of your time there with Pretty Ricky? Um, there's a lot of great highlights, man. I mean, just being able to, uh, just being able to record a professional album like that. You know what I mean? Um, just seeing uh, those kinds of, uh, just seeing those kinds of things. Being able to just you know, go to certain places like going to 106 and Park, you know, six times. And, you know what I mean? Um, just, yeah, yeah, man. Just, you know, being at 106 and Park six times is amazing. Um, meeting the certain kind of people, doing songs with certain artists. Like, you know, I remember when we first got the vocals back for Snoop Dogg when he did the remix for our song Topless. Epic moment, you know what I mean? Like crazy. Um, doing songs with like Trick Daddy. Um, uh, Kiki Wyatt, meet, actually meeting Kiki Wyatt when we were in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, shout out to Kiki Wyatt. She's amazing. Um, jumping on a remix with her, like singing with her alongside her was just like a blessing. Um, doing a jam with uh, H Town and Jealousy, two of my favorite groups in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Actually shooting a video and having that video be out there. And, you know what I mean? So, um, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Jackie O. Um, Everybody, man, it was just a great experience. Now, for you know, most of these you know different artists in the industry, were they who they were on screen, or or, or is it different people from from your experience? Oh man, I think I think everybody's um a little bit different. Everybody's personality is a little different. Um, one executive from BET. Um, she's the she's to coordinate all of the um, award shows and everything for BET. Um, we were at her house one time, and she was just like, um, "Meet your heroes from afar." You know, uh, it's, it's kind of dangerous when you um, meet people, you know, too close up. You know, you get um, you get to see them in certain situations that you normally wouldn't see them, and it's just like, man. It might ruin them for you, or I don't know. It's just it's deep. Wow, that, that's really <laughs> a, a good good lesson, you know, for a lot of people, even if they're not in the industry. Mm -hmm. need to know that. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, when you get out here, you know, a lot of people do a lot of um, hero worshiping, and you know that can get dangerous. Um, you know, especially for you and in, in your uh, your opinion about, you know, certain people that are like famous or whatever. Um, I think the one thing that we kind of like make a mistake uh, by doing is um, kind of putting them outside of the realm of, uh, of being a human, uh, humanity. Um, a lot of people are just normal people, man. They're just regular folks that done, you know, done hit it big, you know what I'm saying? And then they might have some real serious issues in life you know, or vices or whatever um that kind of bring them down to the level of you know a normal person or whatever the case may be but you know that's that's usually the problem with uh the perception of uh you know superstars or you know big time people you know these you know a lot of these people are just regular folks out here they just 
you know it's television stuff that made them famous man you know it's it's it's, it's, it's man it's serious the internet and all this stuff man it's man it's like the wizard of oz <laughs> Did, did you ever feel there was a part uh, a time where you kind of changed or how, how was that for you um for me um i think i had to go through a growth period to understand um what um popularity and fame and um all of that stuff entailed you know being in, in hollywood and all that you know being around famous people um it could change your perception on on how to you know be as far as like dealing with other people and all that i think People should be able to change, but change in a positive way, change in a way where it's like, okay, you know, I was living life a certain way, but now I'm doing something different. Um, and on top of that, I understand business and professionalism. So, you know, I think if you change and evolve in those areas, you know what I mean? That leads to, you know, a lot of other uh, great things. A lot of times people will change in the wrong ways that'll kind of like, you know, maybe ruin relationships or, you know, ruins people's perceptions of you, you know? Right. Well, what's a, what's an example of a, you know, a situation doesn't have to be relationship wise, but, but anything where you had to learn the hard way. Hmm. Um, learning the hard way. I don't know. I, I think it was, it might've been, um, maybe in business just, you know, from doing business with certain people and not understanding um, how to do correct business to be able to protect yourself. Um, I think, you know, as us as um, just even outside of being an artist, just entrepreneurs, period, a lot of mistakes um, happen whenever you're, you know, running your own business or trying to be a business person. Um, there are lessons to be learned. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you might, you know, get knocked over the head a little bit. But, you know, you, there's an opportunity to learn from that experience in that situation to be able to bounce back because, you know, now you've done a little research and you understand from a, a business, uh, you know, perspective, you know, hey, I, I can do better. Let me do better. Let me go ahead and, and, and um, actually educate myself. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for a lot of people, you know, you're watching – that, that was probably one of the biggest things right there. You know, a lot of people, um, the education in, that's definitely a big part there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it sounds like you, you did a lot of, um, you know, a lot of growing, a lot of learning. But yeah. Would you, what would you, you know, what would you say to that, that person, you know, grow, let's see, this would be about what, 15 years ago, right? What would you say to your fifteen, you know, yourself fifteen years ago? Um, just uh, be careful. Um, keep reading, no matter who tries to discourage you from, you know, educating yourself on on music business. Um, keep reading. Um, stay diligent. Be smart, and uh, just um, be wise of the company that I keep. And also be be careful with that word, that friend word, that that, that word friend and bro and all that stuff. Man, you know. I would have definitely told myself to be careful about, you know, so, you know, definitely keep my eyes open and just, you know, like I always tell my kids and everybody else, you know, as young as that I deal with, man, when you're dealing with human beings, be prepared for disappointment. You know what I mean? Um, people will disappoint you. And that's the kind of thing that you got to be prepared for. And a lot of times we're not prepared for those kind of things. And, um, you know, signals get crossed. We tend to feel like, you know, friends shouldn't do us wrong, but, you know, those be the kind of situations where, you know, you end up learning like, man, you know, you know, be your own people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, a lot of times in these situations, you just got to really just um, just be mindful um, and, and be diligent. Do due diligence as far as, um, you know, education and learning about business and um, just, um, you know, don't take it so personal. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so yeah. days you're you're a solo, solo artist, right? Yeah, 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 solo, yes, sir. Okay, and um, you know, also uh, really crave for crave for life, right? Oh yeah, crave forever. You know what I'm saying? You know, one night only, but you know, crave forever. Okay. <laughs> you know, but um, so what? What what type of um? Because I I believe you have some projects you're working on, right? Oh yeah, I definitely have some personal projects I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just putting. 
putting some uh, good vibrations out into the universe right now. Uh, just kind of testing the waters and seeing what's good, you know, trying to make a little comeback of my of my own. Um, coming back, stepping back out as a not only as a singer and an artist, but as a, a music producer. So I've been um, behind a lot of the production for my own records. Um, my lead single, Good Good, I, I was the main um, I was the main um, inspiration on the on the uh, music production on that one. Shout out to the guys that came in and um, helped me out on that one. But um, yeah, yeah, this is like my music production debut. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be a really, really cool thing. Like I said, shout out to the boy, shout out to Jada Ryder, David Live, you know what I'm saying, Jack the producer. Um, a lot of the guys that have been uh, kind of uh, influential and, and helpful towards, uh, you know, uh, me putting out this music. Um, but like I said, yeah, I've just been dropping singles, good goods out. Um, Interlude is my other single that's out. Hopefully I'll be able to drop an EP soon. I'm trying to get this uh, EP project uh, popping off. Um, hopefully I can get it out soon. Okay. Now, now, where where can we find your current work? Uh, my current work, you can actually find it anywhere that um, music is downloaded or downloadable um, on any one of your favorite platforms. It's available um, under my official name, Emmanuel Deanda, E-M-A-N-U-E-L, Emmanuel Deanda, D-E-A-N-D-A. You know, I know it sounds a little funny, but A. It's not that hard to spell. You can find me. Look me up, Emmanuel Deanda. Um, it's basically my name on most of my social platforms. On IG, it's at Emmanuel Deanda 808. On Twitter, it's at Emmanuel Deanda. Um, Facebook is Manny Emmanuel Deanda. Um, I'm definitely findable. I am searchable. Look me up. Get at me. Um, Emmanuel Deanda, brand new music. Good, good. You know what I'm saying? Good with a T at the end. Good, good. It's available now. Emmanuel Deanda, and also Interlude, my new single. So, you know, every platform you can go find it. Okay. And we, we look forward to, you know, definitely checking it out. I, I actually would, would bless to get a sneak peek. So, that, you know, definitely, you know, um, yes, great stuff there. I, I would recommend, you know, anyone to go out, want to hear some, some good on field music. You know, them days when, you know, you can just sit back and vibe. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man, I definitely want to bring that back, man. I think R&B needs it. You know, um, I think R&B is definitely on a uh, great comeback trail. Shout out to the legends that are, uh, you know, advocating and pushing for R&B music to um, make that comeback that it needs. Um, R&B uh, deserves the respect um, and all the respect and love. Um, you know, R&B is the catalyst behind all of this, for real, for real. Shout out to R&B music and soul music. Let's not forget, you know what I'm saying? Let us not be the ones that are forgotten. We are not the forgotten. We are still here representing this craft. Uh, R&B music is forever. A lot of people still love R&B music. And I would love to be one of the representatives to help uh, contribute some great music to the R&B uh, history. Okay. And, and so, for anyone who, because you had mentioned on the production end. Yeah. For anyone who's looking to reach out to you, um, get help with anything or, you know, anything on the music end, mm -hmm. how would they connect with you? Um, yeah, definitely. If you want to get at me, you can hit me up on any one of my social sites. Um, you could, you already know you can hit the DM or the inbox, or you can just hit me directly on my email. That's eight zero eight music. But when you spell music, it's with two C's. You know what I'm saying? My bad. I ain't mean to throw up the crypt sign, but I'm just trying to really, I'm not a crypt. I'm just trying to show you guys two C's. So 808 zero eight music with two C's at gmail.com. Um, hit your boy up. You know what I mean? That's where you can um, book me for shows. You can book me for a production. Um, you can book me as a singer to sing hooks, um, to write, um, to even educate your child. You know, um, I do a lot of stuff. So 808 music with two C's at gmail.com. That's where you can hit me up about um, some of the uh, production that I have and all of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we have Emmanuel Deonda, the legend himself. And oh, man. I appreciate you. 